Hello everyone! How are you today? I am your teacher, Jem Raimon, and today we will discuss the what's in part of your quarter 2, module 1, and still about expressing one value as fraction of another given the ratio and vice versa. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raymond. My name is Mr. Jem Raymond Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. Again, we will discuss the what's in part of your quarter 2, module 1, entitled Relating Fraction and Ratio. Letter A. Write ratios for the following illustrations. You have here inside the box two sons and we have here nine hearts. We have to write the ratio of the sons to hearts for item number one. We have to write the correct order of the quantity when we talk about ratio. For number one, we have to write the number of the sons first to the number of hearts. What is the answer for number one? Yes, the correct answer is two sons is two nine hearts. So, ibig sabihin, every two sons, there will be nine hearts. That's two is to nine. Number two. The hearts to the total number of figures. So, how many are hearts? Yes, that's 9. Pero, what is the total number of the figures? So, kapag sinabi natin total number of figures, kinakailangang alam mo lahat kung ilan yung ibinigay na figures. So, this is 2 and this is 9. So, what is the total number of figures? Yes, 11. So, meaning, there is 11 total number of figures. So, ang ibig sabihin, ang ratio ng hearts to total number of figures ay 9 is to 11. In every 9 hearts, there will be 11 total number of figures given. Number three, the ratio of the sons to the number of figures or the total number of figures. Ngayon naman, ang itinatanong dito ay ang total number ng son sa total number of figures. So, ang ratio niyan ay 2 sons to 11. So, in every 2 sons, there will be 11 total number of figures given. The answer is 2 is to 11. Number 4. The ratio of the hearts to sun. So, ang una nating ilalagay ay ang number of hearts and then ang pangalawa ay ang number ng sons. Ilan lahat yung hearts natin dito? Yes, that's 9. And how about the number of sons? Yes, that's 2. So, ibig sabihin we have 9 is 2. 2. Ang ratio ng hearts is to the sons. Next, number 5. Total number of figures to the sons. Ilan lahat yung figure na ibinigay? Yes, 11. And how about the number of sons? Yes, we have 2. So, ang correct answer for number 5 is 11 is to 2. For letter B, so what's in part of the module? The number of flowers in Lito's garden is represented as follows. So for Gumamela, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For Orchid, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
The direction is write ratios and a question that matches each ratio. For example, we have 7 is to 12. So, kapag isinulat mo yung 7 is to 12, magsusulat ka rin ng corresponding question out of it. Okay? For example, what is the ratio of the number of orchids to the total number of flowers in the garden? So, yung tamang sagot niyan ay ang ratio na ibinigay mo. 7 is to 12 is the ratio of the orchids to the total number of flowers in the garden. We have 7 orchids and 12 flowers in all. Yan yung gagawin natin sa letter B. You know what? You may have a different answer, the one that I'll be showing you on the screen. Okay? What you see here on the screen are just examples on how to answer letter B for your what's in part of the module. Okay? Now, pwede mo ding isagot dito ay 5 is to 12. Ano ba yung 5? Yes, ito yung 5 class. How about yung 12? Yes, ang kabuuan, di ba? Now, kung ikaw ang tatanungin, anong tanong ang pwede mong mailagay or maisulat na ang tamang sagot ay 5 is to 12? Yes, very good. Pwede mong sabihin na what is the ratio of the number of gomamelas to the total number of flowers in the garden? Yung tamang sagot sa question na yan ay 5 is to 12. 5 yung gomamela at 12 lahat yung flowers sa garden. Okay? Another one. 5 is to 7. Ano kayang tanong ang pwede nating mailagay or maisulat Kung ang tamang sagot ay 5 is to 7. Ikaw. Yes, very good. Pwede mong ilagay ang tanong na, What is the ratio of the number of gomamelas to the number of orchids? Ito yung number ng gomamelas, which is 5, ito. At yung 7 naman ay ang orchids. ba? Madali lang. Next. We have, 7 is to 5. Pwede din. Ano namang tanong ang pwede nating maisulat dito? Yes, very good. What is the ratio of the number of orchids to the number of gomamelas? Next is 12 is to 5. Ano naman ang tanong ang pwede nating maisulat na ang tamang sagot ay 12 is to 5? Very good! What is the ratio of the total number of flowers in the garden to the number of gomamelas? 12 lahat, yung number ng flowers, at saka yung 5 naman, yung number ng gumamela. Again, yung mga nakikita nyo ngayon sa screen ay mga possible answers lang. Pwede din naman kayong gumawa ng ibang mga answer. No? Or ibang mga questions sa mga ratio na ibibigay mo out sa given na problem. Okay? Okay, we have the last one. We have 12 is to 7. Ano namang tanong ang pwede nating maisulat dito? Correct! What is the ratio of the total number of flowers in the garden to the number of orchids? 12 ang total number ng mga flowers at ang 7 naman ang number ng orchids. Now, I have here a problem class para mas maintindihan nyo talaga ang relationship ng fraction at saka ng ratio. Raymond bought 3 avocados and 8 mangoes. Use ratios and fractions to compare the number of fruits that he bought. So, gagamitin natin ang ratio at saka yung fraction class sa pagkumpara sa mga number ng mga prutas or bilang ng mga prutas na kanyang binili. So, we have here the avocados. Of course, avocados, we have three. No? Raymond bought three avocados. And mangoes, we have eight. So, eight lahat ang ibiniling uh, mango ni Raymond. Now, pwede natin itong gawin class na blocks, no? Para mas madali siyang i-drawing. 
instead of drawing real figures of avocado, you may represent this into a block. Okay? A block model. So, pwede mo siyang gawing ito class. Yan. Yan yung magre-represent ng number of avocados na binili ni Raymond. At yung 8 naman na mangoes na to class, ang pwede nating ilagay na block sa ito din. Yan. Walong blocks din. Para mas madali siyang i-represent. Understood? Very good. So, ibig sabihin, class, the ratio of the number of avocados to the number of mangoes Raymond bought is 3 is to 8. Now, kapag sinabi nating ratio ng number of avocados to the number of mangoes, ang una mong ilalagay, class, ay ang number of avocados kasi avocados kasi ang unang na-mention sa problem or sa situation. And then, pangalawa yung number ng mangoes, which is 8. 3 is to 8 is the ratio of the number of avocados to the number of mangoes Raymond bought. Okay. Again, the ratio of the number of avocados to the number of mangoes Raymond bought is 3 is to 8, right? Now, pwede rin natin ito class na gawing fraction form. Okay? Ito yung ratio form class, 3 is to 8. Pero, pwede natin itong gawing in fraction. So, the, this ratio can be written as fraction. So, we have here, in numerator class, yung nasa itaas na bahagi ng fraction ay ang number of avocados. Kasi, siya nga yung una na na-mention. Over the number of mangoes. Again, yung una dito class na ibinigay ay siyang nasa itaas ng fraction. Yung pangalawang ibinigay ay ang number naman na nasa denominator or nasa ilalim ng fraction. Okay? So, this is 3, yung number of avocados, over 8 or 8 mangoes. So, ibig sabihin, yung number of avocados to the number of mangoes Raymond bought is 3 is to 8. Okay? Yung 3 na yan, class, ay ang first natin na quantity. O yung unang numero or bilang na ibinigay or na i-mention. And, yung pangalawa namang number ay nasa denominator, which is our second quantity of the ratio. So, again, na-connect na natin yung relationship ng ratio at saka yung fraction na talagang magkaparehas lang silang dalawa. So, the number of avocado is 3A of the number of mangoes. So, this is now the fraction form of the number of avocados to the number of mangoes, which is 3A. Understood? Very good. Now, let's have another example class. This time, balik ta rin natin class. No? So, again, kung babalik ta rin natin, syempre, magkakaiba na din yung sagot niya or yung ratio o yung fraction na answer. So, if we have here the situation, the ratio of the number of mangoes to the number of avocados Raymond bought is 8 is to 3. So, ibig sabihin ng unang ibinigay class na quantity, yung first quantity natin ay ang number of mangoes. At saka, yung ikipangalawa ay ang number of avocados din. So, yung ratio natin ay iba na sa previous natin na halimbawa or example. So, kasi 8 is to 3 na ang ating ratio kapag ganito na ang ibinigay na situation. So, kapag sinabi natin 8 is to 3, pwede rin natin yang gawing in fraction form. Okay? So, the number of mangoes naman yung nasa itaas o yung nasa numerator natin kasi siya nga yung unang quantity na ibinigay. Tapos, Yung nasa ilalim or nasa denominator ay ang number of avocados. So, kapag sinulat natin yan in number or numerical form, that would be 8 mangoes is 2 or over 3 avocados. So, ibig sabihin, the number of avocados is 8 third or 8 over 3 of the number of mangoes. Okay? So again, huwag mong kalimutan ang pagkakasunod-sunod 
o tamang pagkakasunod ng mga quantity na ibinigay sa situation. Kasi nagmamatter talaga yan, class. No? Magkakaiba yung sagot kapag hindi mo alam ang tamang pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga quantity na ibinigay sa problem. In this case, avocado ang unang ibinigay at ang pangalawang quantity ay mango. So, yung unang quantity na avocado ay 8 at saka yung nasa denominator ay 3 ay yung pangalawa quantity ng ibinigay. Hanggang dito na muna ang ating discussion class. I hope you have now the idea about the relationship of the fraction and ratio. Okay? Till next time. Keep safe everyone!